Necessary Gaming People, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you for not asking. I'm Colonel Crayon, and this is my first video on Necessary Quest! Yay! Fanfare! I'm actually not probably going to put like a fanfare sound effect in there because I'm too lazy to. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I just came over from Rookies and uh, I'm pretty excited to be here now. Um, even though I'm sad to leave Rookies, it was it was great fun there, but we all have to move on at some point, I suppose. And now I'm getting all deep on you. Anyway, this is uh, Wing Commander, um, which is a game I've been doing on a uh, series on on Rookies. Uh, the first two episodes are on Rookies. I suggest you go watch them if you plan on watching this, or else this won't make any sense. So, but this isn't any normal let's play basically um when i was looking at this game testing it to see if i could record it properly which obviously um i could i realized it had no voice acting and i thought to myself you know considering this game is a space combat sim it might be hard to uh read all the dialogue because there is dialogue during missions and that could get quite annoying to uh just read out loud all the time and it's common YouTube knowledge that the viewer does not really enjoy pausing the video to read this stuff himself. So what I did was I kidnapped several people from Necessary Gaming and forced them to help me against their own will. Um, they are basically going to be doing the voice acting for me. Um, I, I do some of the voices as well, but um, I, I'm not doing all of it. That's the whole point of this. So it's not really as much of a boring old let's play. It's more of kind of a cool sort of cinematic experience as I like to call it. It's more cinematic that way, I guess. You'll you'll probably get the gist of it pretty quickly. So uh, I guess we should start out by talking to Shot Glass as usual. That's Iceman at night over there. Knight's a darn reliable pilot. A solid shot. A steady flyer. Not flashy at all, he's sort of a craftsman. Gets the job done, though. Iceman, though. Now he's an artist. Best pilot of the Tiger's Claw. Lives to fly and fight. He's totally ruthless and completely deadly. Some of the pilots say he's got Freon for blood. At least, that's where he got the call sign. Yeah, so, um, as Shot Class was saying, um, these two are, uh, Iceman and Knight. Um, Iceman is, um, I believe the most skilled pilot, or he has the most kills of anyone currently serving on the Tiger's Claw. Um, he has 47 confirmed kills. Um, I only have five. That's sad, I'm all in, la I'm all the way in last. Um, but I've only been here for like two days, I guess, in game time. Um, he is uh, very skilled, um, but he's also kind of creepy. <laughs> uh, I believe um, his actual name is um, Michael Casey. He's a, a major, and Knight is, um, I think, the most reliable pilot in the game. Um, Captain Joseph Kumalo. There's not really anything else very notable about him other than the fact that he's really reliable. He's not an amazing pilot, but he's um, reliable. I said that already, but he's reliable. Crayon, right? I'm Knight. Welcome to the Blue Devils. Ever flown scimitars before? I think you're going to like them. A scimitar isn't quite as fast or nimble as a hornet, but she's got twice the armor, as well as heavier guns. And she handles like a centurion mud pig. Iceman here will try and tell you speed and handling will save your butt. But I'll take an extra three centimeters of Jura steel plating any day. So basically, what he's trying to say is the scimitar is not as nimble as the Hornet, but it's got more armor and uh, firepower. Crayon. They call me Iceman. Don't let night fool you. The skim's a gun-heavy slug. Forget finesse. Just head straight in, guns blaring. Give me a ship that takes skill. A raptor, even a hornet, or one of those new rapiers. If half of what they say is true, the rapier is a true artist ship. Hmm. Rapier, huh? 
interesting. I wonder if we'll ever get to fly one of those. Spoiler, we do. Uh, pay no attention to these two saved games. Uh, they that weren't there before. Um, yeah, just, just, yeah, just don't pay attention to them. <clears throat> All right then, Beta Wing will be led by Crayon. Paladin, you'll be flying on his wing. And I cannot tell you how I'm looking forward to it, Colonel. Right, since we jumped into the McAleef system just a few hours ago, we're still running preliminary patrols. Crayon, you'll be flying a four-point route, checking several potential jump points. Here's your flight plan. Just fly to the nav points and make sure they are clear. Long-range scanners indicate some sort of debris near nav 3. We have reason to believe this might be a Kilrathi minefield, so be especially careful in that area. Questions? Alright then. Delta Wing is Iceman and Angel. You listen as the Colonel completes the mission assignments. That's everyone. Last questions? No hands are raised. Good. Let's get to work. Squadron dismissed. At least we've got Paladin on our wing. Whee! Has a different kind of main weapon, the Mass Gatling Driver, I think they're called. A little more heavy duty, but uh, not as long range as the lasers, and we have the normal dumb fire and heat seeker missiles. I forgot to explain, the dumb fire missiles are basically you have to anticipate where your target will be by the time they reach that point, the missiles, that is. Um, basically, they don't lock on to a target, so they're better left for uh, slower and bigger targets. Or at least that's what the book uh, advises. I expect to run into trouble. Last! The enemy are upon us! Yep, trouble, see? Paladin speeding up. Should. Come on now. Oh, gee whiz, they're all ganging up on him. My offspring shall avenge me! Get over here. Ow. Easy kills. Looks like Paladin's got him under control. What are you doing? Is he coming around? I can't. Whoa! Gee whiz, where's Paladin? You fight like a stillborn kitten. There you are. Get over here. Eh. Why isn't Paladin trying to attack him? Get him, mate. What are you doing? Oh, he is a fancy flyer. I don't want to waste one of my heat seekers on him. What are you doing? No, oh, he's attacking. I don't know what he's doing, though. Come on. I can't tell if he's trying to get out. His engines are busted. Whoa! Jeez. Ah, they caught me with my kilt down. Oh, he's coming back. 
You get back. Thank you. Jeez, what are you doing, Paladin? You didn't kill a single one. I thought you were supposed to be skilled and stuff. All right. Where is... Still headed to nav two, one. I have a feeling I'm gonna I should try to go around that minefield because if I try to go through it, bad things will most likely happen. Alright. I'm gonna have to be seriously careful here. In fact, I'm not even gonna Well. Hmm. Should I? Yeah, I should probably just I'm, I'm not going to autopilot. I'm just going to go there myself, and I'm going to try and go around that minefield because I don't think it would be a good idea to go through it. No internal damage. Okay. So. I, I just think, uh, since this thing isn't as nimble with a hornet, I think I might have a pretty good chance of getting through. But I'm using a scimitar, and they're kind of bigger, so... Um... It might be a little dangerous to try that. All right. Oh, yeah, there they are. They're probably porcupine mines, which just kind of sit around. They don't, like, lock onto you and chase you or anything. What the? Okay, we're going the wrong way, kind of. What was that? Paladin, are you okay? Alright, we're probably gonna have to go through parts of this. There's no way to avoid it. Ah! What the? Huh? What is going on? I think the radar is screwing with me right now. Ah! Gee whiz! Come on now. They're hitting me, but... Oh, what the heck? Oh, come on. What in the world? That doesn't even make sense. First we were... This map is dumb. Ah! Okay, that one, that one was my fault. I didn't see that one. Come on, we're almost there. Ha! You keep hitting my shields. Okay, finally. What is it? Unit damage, computer system. I keep hitting my shields and everything, but... It's not my fault. This stupid game wouldn't really tell me what was happening on the map. I mean, it did, but it was confusing. I'm sure that could have been handled much better. So, uh, now we have to go to Nav 4. Don't tell me, like, autopilot is down or something. No, oh, there's still one time... There was one mine just sitting down there. That was weird. Actually, you know, it's probably because I was going through there too fast. So, it could have been my fault. Uh-oh. We've got company, laddie! Communication sounds a little weird. Alright, Paladin. Four more. Got you covered, laddie. I actually did not mean to fire that missile, but it might have actually hit something. No, you don't fire missiles. Ah! You are mine. If you'd stop. 
Ha 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 That was gonna miss. Yo, that scared me. It's gonna miss, but you flew right into it, you fool. Come on. Ah. Get back here, you. Come on. Bloody, let me loose, will ya? Ow. Fine. I've got you covered, Luddy. Ah, they caught me with me kilt down. You, so first you tell me to let you loose on the enemy, and then you tell me that they're killing you. Uh, uh, come on, get back here. These things are too fast. Come back, I want to fight. like Paladin's taking some damage. Ah! Uh, sorry about that. They're not even doing anything. They're just kind of flying around each other. Blast, laddie! Watch it! What are you talking about? What, did I hit him or something? Come on, get him! Two units damage. Acceleration absorbers destroyed? I don't even know what that means. Acceleration absorbers. Any day now. Seriously, it, you, you gotta kill something. I'm taking all the kills and I feel bad about it. This guy's just playing chicken now. His weapons must be destroyed or something. Is this the best the apes can offer? Come on. I'm taunting you. Come get me. What the frick are you talking about? Goodbye. She is. Looks like. Whoa, Paladin. I thought you knew how to fly. She's taking more damage than I have. Oops. I hope that actually worked. Okay, we're there. And we can just autopilot back to the Tiger's Claw. That went well. Paladin didn't do much of anything. Alright, so... Just go in slowly. Ever so slowly. Mountain. That was interesting. Light damage? That sounds more like heavy damage. Whoa, you sure got yourself shot up, sir. Well flown, Crayon. You handled those flea bags like an old pro. Thanks, sir. Having Paladin on my wing made it easy. Now, laddie, don't brag on me, or the colonel will start expecting more from me. So let's go over the mission report. You scragged six kill Rathi, Crayon, and Paladin came up empty. I want to see you in my office after you've had a shower, Crayon. That's all, then. Dismissed. 
Walton, come in. I need to speak with you. Yes, sir. I've been speaking with Sector Command. The brass have been reviewing your record. I have good news. The order came in this morning. I've been authorized to promote you. Congratulations, First Lieutenant Walton. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. Good. I'm glad to hear it. That's all then, First Lieutenant. Dismissed. So now I have 11 confirmed kills, and I've only flown three sorties. <laughs> At least I got promoted, that's cool. And now I have my scimitar qualification um, ribbon. Even though the ribbons are kind of messed up, I shall now save over this. Yes, thank you. Um, so we're a first lieutenant now, that's wonderful. <laughs> I still cannot believe Paladin just... He, I expected him to, like, at least try. It didn't even see... He just seemed like he was kind of just flying around doing whatever. It's kind of annoying, almost. I felt like I had to do all the work, but, um, whatever. Um, I guess that'll do it for this episode. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, I should be doing this weekly possibly more frequently than that I'm not sure uh, because yeah I'm, ju I'm just not sure um, but anyway um, I guess I'll see you in the next episode uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode I already said that darn it bye <laughs>